This video is not something that I would typically film for my channel, but I'm very excited about it because in over 10 years, I have only ever purchased two bathing suits. So basically for my entire adulthood, I have somehow operated without owning a well-fitting functional swimsuit. And today, all of that's about to change. Every bathing suit that I've tried on up to this point has just been so ill-fitting, and I've never managed to find one that I really love. I really just want a basic bathing suit. Ideally, I would just like to find one that I can wear for like the next 10 years. Since my YouTube channel has gained popularity, I've had a lot of brands reach out to me to do partnerships, and I pretty much reject all of them because usually they're products that I wouldn't want to endorse or promote, including a handful of companies that manufacture really inexpensive bathing suits. Um, the reason why those bathing suits are so inexpensive is because they outsource their labor to sweatshops and I'm not down with that. So I found this company on Instagram called Solid and Striped and they basically only make bathing suits in solid colors and striped patterns, which is great because I'm just looking for something really basic and straightforward. Their bathing suits are definitely on the pricey side, but when it comes down to it, I'd rather have an amazing suit that lasts a long time, and I'm not saying you have to spend a ton of money to find that, but I haven't been able to find it yet. I've purchased these bathing suits today with my own money, and I actually bought four of them, um, which is why I'm poor now. It was free shipping and free returns, so I'm gonna return the ones that I don't like. I'm just hoping to find one that I love and I need your help. Like, I know nothing about this. Like I said, I used my own money to buy these. I just thought that the quality looked really nice and the styles were like exactly what I was looking for, um, but they definitely are a bit expensive. However, if you have a bathing suit for 10 years and you pay like 180 bucks for it, that's 18 bucks a year. So that's how I'm justifying this purchase in my head. So here they are, um, and I know what you're thinking, that looks so boring. However, plot twist, they accidentally sent me this red top, and I definitely didn't order it, and then I checked my order online, and it was just an accident. So I have this extra like red top, and I don't hate it. And also, like I didn't pay for it, so that's cool. And from an environmental standpoint, I already surveyed their packing materials, biodegradable tape, recyclable box, although they did all come in these little bags. It's not ideal to have packaging at all, but it is really hard to avoid completely sometimes. So this is what we are working with. I feel like this is what it would look like to go bathing suit shopping with my mom, who watches all of my videos, by the way. So, hi mom, I'm not mad at it. Over here we have like a short sleeve, high-waisted bathing suit with a tie at the front. And then I have another like high-waisted option over here with a more basic bikini top. And then I got a second top for these bottoms because I wasn't sure which one would fit better. But you can kind of mix and match because they're all the same material. And then I have just an average low back classic black one piece. This is something that I've tried to find for years and a lot of companies make suits like this and they never fit well. They're always like bunchy or weird in the butt or something else is just off. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work out but I have slightly higher expectations. And this probably comes as a surprise to no one that I would buy a bathing suit with a shirt as a top because that's just something that sounds nice. And then we have that weird red bathing suit top with no bottoms that I didn't order. And maybe I can wear it with one of the black bottoms or something. So I guess I'm just gonna try all of these on. And if you want to give your opinion, maybe I'll put numbers like next to them as I'm trying them on. And if you don't care, then you don't have to vote. That's fine. I'm a little bit nervous to show you guys this body because the bathing suit life is all new to me. But okay, let's do this. I might have to set up a light in here because it's getting a little bit dark. at this but I have to say so far I think this is the best bathing suit that I've tried on in like my years of searching so we're off to a good start
have to say these bathing suits definitely exceeded my expectations in pretty much all regards because I was not expecting to like all of them and I pretty much feel like I would wear any of these suits. So now I just really need to figure out which one I'm going to keep. It's gonna be kind of a hard decision. The most uncomfortable part about filming this video was that we just got new neighbors and their backyard basically looks into my bedroom window and they're like barbecuing right now. I also managed to stuff the smallest seamless underwear under all of these bathing suits and that was hard work. It was a job. I should also probably mention that the real reason I needed a bathing suit is because I'm going to Hawaii. I've never been before, so I'm really excited to go out there and explore, but I'm also going for a beach cleanup because Hawaii is getting destroyed by single-use plastic and I want to see the damage in person. Like, I I feel like we don't always get to see the repercussions of our actions with waste and it felt like a good opportunity to go on vacation with a purpose. So I'm looking forward to filming out there a little bit. Um, regarding my bathing suits, let me know which one I should pick. Um, I'm kind of like on the fence. I don't know which one to choose. Um, this video was just something that I felt like filming for fun, but I will be back with my regularly scheduled program content when I get back from Hawaii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you very soon and I'll talk to you then.